You know, it's been uh, an incredible 13-year journey. Uh, we've spent 13 and a half years in OTHS at the high school here in O'Fallon, and uh, it's just been amazing to see how the church has changed and grown over the years, and then to walk in and have our own space uh, here on Milburn School Road. Uh, we just look forward to seeing what God has in store for us in the future, because as we look around our new facility, and we see all of the new homes that are being built, we know that there's gonna to be tons and tons of young families that will move into the area. And that's one of our main focuses here at Skyline is making sure that we're ministering to the needs of husbands and wives and children and men and women, uh, and just making sure that we're building strong foundations for our community, because I believe that strong foundations for families are the strong foundations for churches and for our communities alike. So here in the foyer area, we have a, a pretty rustic kind of theme and all of the counter spaces and all of the uh, desks and things that our people actually built uh, using just wood that they purchased at Lowe's and reclaimed barn wood and uh, just need to kind of watch them put all of it together. So here we are in our children's area and we call it the Faith Factory and you'll notice lots of bright colors and it's fun. Uh, but one of the things that we're really excited about is these colors that you see. Each of our rooms has a specific color. And for instance, uh, we're here at the nursery, which is the purple room. So if you have a first time family that comes and they're wondering where their room is, uh, all we do is say, we'll follow that purple pipe. And when you come to the end of the purple pipe, you'll be at your room. And so they can come right into the nursery. It's a really, uh, really neat thing. One of the things that we emphasize the most uh, is spaces and we love creating environments and that's one of the reasons why we put so much emphasis on our foyer and the way that it looks uh, you know some people describe it as rustic some people describe it uh, as rugged but welcoming and it's intentional because we wanted to create a space where people could gather we wanted to create spaces where you know people could sit down and enjoy a cup of coffee have a great conversation but one of the other things that I personally wanted it to emphasize is being a man-friendly environment. Uh, you know, one of the things that I've noticed through reading some books and studies and, you know, seeing videos and going to conferences is the lack of male involvement when it comes to church. And, uh, you know, typically on a, a Sunday morning, you will have uh, across the United States anywhere from 31 to 39 percent of the the population that's in a church service would be guys and that's a, a statistic that bothers me uh, because i want our families to be uh, to have strong men inside of them and so for me personally one of the things that i want to to do is to minister to men and, and part of that is creating an environment that's kind of man friendly um, we want men and we want everybody to walk in but men in particular to walk in and, and think to themselves you know hmm never been to a church like this before or you know maybe they walk in and, and, and maybe subconsciously they have this idea that you know, I feel like I've been here before because it completely sets their mind at ease and I think it, it sets them up puts them in a place where they can you know feel comfortable coming into a church for the very first time because we deal with a lot of people that haven't been in church in years uh, we have a lot of our guests that have never maybe even set foot in a church and we want to make sure that we we have the very best opportunity that we can to be able to share the love of christ with them and to be able to share the word of god with them